Hey everyone, it's Mike here from FilterGrade, and today I'm going to be showing you around the free Adobe Photoshop camera app. Um, it just came out earlier this week, and it has a lot of cool lenses and features kind of similar to Instagram Stories and Snapchat, where it's a little more interactive than just like a filter, and it also has animated elements or things like wings and overlays, and kind of, it's, it's a really cool and fun creative app. So. I just wanted to jump in and show you some of the different lenses in the app so that you could try it out for yourself and make some cool edits. So I'm going to start with just like a nature edit and once you jump in it will instantly give you some sort of a easy like retouch and you can turn that on or off. I usually just turn it off and then go play in the lenses and this is where <clears throat> most of the cool effects are and so you start with a bunch I think like 8 or 10. And some of them are for nature, um, and you can kind of play around with them. You click the lens, and then they have multiple options with various filters for this one. But I always like to go add more, and then you can see the entire library, and there's quite a few lenses in here. So I'm just going to take a look and try to find one that fits my image. For a nature image, I want to find something that has a cool effect. So, I, so Comic Skies is one that I love, and it kind of adds some playful animations to this guy and as you can see it has a video like an animation to it you can turn that off by clicking the play button up there if you want just a still frame or if you want a video you can keep it running and then you could you know watch it and you can save it to your camera roll in various ways if you want to have a certain size if you want to have a square if you want to fit the story format anything you need um, I'm not going to save it right now, I just wanted to look at it, but you can also play with all these things and scale things up and down, you know, if you really want it to be in a certain area. You can really do a lot with this app, which is cool, and it's just kind of based off these lenses they have. So I'll show you a few more here. Let me go get a portrait. I'm going to just discard the changes. So here's a portrait of my brother Matt. And we're gonna just try, it looks cool, but it kind of messes up right there, which is weird. We're gonna try some of the portrait lenses. So let's try, this is one that it auto recommends, which is cool. This is a cool effect, honestly, but I'm gonna turn that off and then I'm just gonna play with some of the more advanced ones. So as you can see, this one's cool, but it kind of has a weird effect. And with all of these, you can pinch and rotate elements on the screen, which is kind of fun. But it kind of distorts the face in this portrait, I don't know why. So you could do something like this if you want to make a funny edit. I don't know, there's a lot of cool options here. Um, let me go back to the original and then... Let's try the Billie Eilish blush. See what this looks like. Whoa. These are cool. So you can kind of get these random effects from, you know, celebrities and musicians. And Billie Eilish has another effect. I think I need to download it. So it's called the Wings, I think. It's, yeah, there. So this is based off of one of her music videos, and you can just kind of add the same wings to your own photo. Wow. And it adds kind of an animation. Let's see what the darker ones look like. Maybe the third one. Yeah, I think this one you'll be able to resize. Doesn't seem to let you resize it, but really cool effect, and uh, just one of the many different crazy things you can do with this app. So I'm going to go back to the camera and find another photo. So here's a photo of Matt and I when we were skiing last winter. I'm going to just play with some of the other portrait lenses and just random effects. So the glitch effects are really cool and they're all animated too. And there's four variations I think for this one so you can kind of find a different style for all of them, depending on what kind of edit you want to put out, or if you have like a certain, you know, idea. And so this is a lot more like VHS almost. 
And then the first one's like really cool animations that go over different parts of the image. Um, but yeah, it doesn't work great for this image. So let's try some of these other ones. So the cosmos, I think this changes the sky to look like space. So this is pretty sick. <laughs> It's a little bit dark though, so let's try another one. Reverie, so this also changes the sky. This is really cool when you have the animations on it because it's just constantly flowing. And then if you want to do other touch-ups, you can do all these things. So, like I said, it's a little dark, so you can adjust the shadows, kind of brighten certain parts, you can turn the highlights down, you can make it more clear, and then once you're done you click down here and you can save it to your camera roll or you can also share it in various formats. So I'm going to just try the 3x4 and it automatically lets you save to some really popular apps and then you can also add more apps you know to export from so whether you want to save it you know send it to your friends airdrop it snapchat it whatever you want to do you can send the final files and it's a really cool app for that so just going to show you a few more things in the app if you go to the lens library you can actually see all of the lenses here and so there's a lot more that i haven't really shown yet so you should definitely jump in there, try to find them all, see what works for you. For some reason it's not really loading anymore, so I'm just gonna show you one more thing, which is manage lenses. And so this is where you can kind of organize the lenses and put them in an order that works for you if you're using this app a lot. So you just grab these three bars on the left and then pull it up and that's how you can do it or you grab them and pull it down and then you can just organize everything to fit kind of the way you want it to and that way you can just hop right to the camera or to your you know albums and then you can easily add an effect right away once you jump into the uh, to the app so I hope this was a good uh, overview for you. I'd love to see your edits. Leave a comment below with a link to your Instagram or your Behance or any of your portfolios and show us some of the things you've made with this app because it's really cool. And uh, let us know what you'd like us to do next on the channel. Thanks.